Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you another example of an SS scan. So, in the previous one, we scanned our Metasploit, which is a Linux machine. Right now, we're going to see what results can we get scanning a Windows machine. So, I have right here Windows 7, virtual machine. And what's special about this machine is that it hasn't been updated in a year. And keep in mind, there are a lot of people in the world that don't regularly update their operating systems. This machine specifically doesn't have any additional software installed and running on open ports. The only open ports it has are these ones. And most of them are open by default once you install Windows 7. Let us see what our NASA scan will manage to find on an unupdated Windows 7 machine. So let's go right here and go on to new scan. We already know how we can perform the scan, so I will not be explaining the details. We navigate to the basic scan and we can type right here Windows 7. The IP address I checked out right here, it is 192.168.1.6. And if I scan it, go to the discovery, we can scan all ports. In the assessment, we're going to scan for known web vulnerabilities. In the report, we leave everything default. And in the advanced, we leave it on default. I will click on save. And I will just run my scan. This will start scanning my Windows 7 machine. And in a few minutes, we will receive the entire scan and all the vulnerabilities it managed to find for our Windows 7 machine. Once again, keep in mind that it doesn't have any additional software installed. I just installed an operating system and connected it to my network. Let's wait for the scan to finish. And we're going to see what it will manage to find. Okay, the scan has finished. Let us check out the results that Nessus gave us. If I click on my Windows 7, we will see it managed to find four critical vulnerabilities and two high vulnerabilities. And these are the vulnerabilities it found on Windows machine that hasn't been updated. Let us check them out. If I click on this and click on Microsoft Windows multiple issues, we will see four critical vulnerabilities. Unsupported Windows, OS. This means that the Windows has not been updated, as it says right here, is either missing a service packet or is no longer supported. This simply means it hasn't been updated in a while. As a result, it is likely to contain security vulnerabilities, and that is true. We get the MS14, which it says right here, vulnerability in channel could allow remote code execution, uncredentialed check. And down here, we also get what type of vulnerability it is. So we could just search for that vulnerability, search for an exploit, and gain access to our Windows 7 machine. We also get this RDP, RCE, or also known as the Blue Keep attack. And as you can see right here, this attack is relatively new. It is from 2019. So for example, if there was anyone running Windows 7 that hasn't updated their machine since 2019, they are vulnerable to this attack. This attack exploits remote desktop protocol, which is running over the port 3389. Cool, right? We managed to discover vulnerabilities and critical vulnerabilities for the Windows 7 machine. This Nessus tool is really amazing. However, there are also some vulnerabilities that it didn't manage to find. And I'm talking about really high vulnerabilities. So it is finally time. In the next section, we're going to see how we can exploit a bunch of these vulnerabilities, how we can gain access to the target, steal information from the target, we will see also how we can maintain access on the target, and we will see how we can cover our tracks. See you in the exploitation section.